Here's a cute winter illustration that you can easily paint in Procreate. In this video, I'll show you how to quickly paint a bunch of these simple people, and then I'll show you how to arrange them all into a final scene. None of this requires any pre-planning or sketching, and you can use any brushes you're comfortable with, but I'll list the exact brushes I'm using in the description. And I'm going to start by painting the people first. So for that, I'm going to change my brush to the smooth round, and I'm going to choose a very, very light beige tone, just something I can barely see against the white. I'm just going to start by painting this kind of bell shape. After that, I'll add some legs. I'll add a head. And then for the arms, I want this one to be, so this guy's skating this way. I want him to be kind of holding his hands behind his back. I'm just going to do an arm that curves back like that. And then the arm on the other side is just going to be barely visible there. And to make this stand out a little bit more, I think I'll darken it. There we go. And once we have the arms and the legs kind of roughed out here, we can start refining the posture. So first, I'm going to rotate this guy forward. Then I'm going to use the selection tool set to freehand to just select his legs. And I'm going to tip those back so they kind of rebalance him. There we go. Now, I want his back leg to be kind of kicking out a little bit. So I'm just going to select the back leg this time. Tip it. I'll select it again, just about where the knee is, and I'll bend it out like that. And I think that's it for this one. This is just like a silhouette. We're going to put clothes and decorations on this guy later. For now, I'm going to move on and do the next character. Now it's important that all the characters are on their own layer, so I'll make a new layer. I'm going to use the same smooth round, same color, and I'm going to rough out another bell shape. Now, usually with ice skating, both of your feet are pretty much always kind of flat on the ice or just slightly off to one side. You'd only see this kind of pose if he was going quite fast. So this guy's not going fast, so I'm going to leave his legs like that. I do want him to lean forward a little bit, so I'll tip him like that. And then I'll kind of rebalance his legs. There we go. If you want to, you could slightly bend uh, one leg at the knee. And for the last character here, I'll make another blank layer, same brush, same color, and I'll do another bell shape. And this one's going to be kind of very chill, so just the arms down along the sides. I'll rebalance his legs a little bit as well. And once I've got these kind of three silhouettes finished, I'm going to move on and start dressing them up. And I'm going to start with this guy here, so I'm going to make sure that layer is selected. And I'm going to paint right on top of our silhouette. For the brush though, I'm going to change it to the hard edge brush. And I'm just going to use two or three colors to very loosely kind of add some clothes on him. And that looks pretty good. The last kind of tiny detail I want to add is the actual blades on the ice skates. So I'm going to use a very light gray tone for that. And he looks pretty good, but I think I want to make his jacket a little bit darker. So I'm going to use the freehand selection tool to just select the jacket, hue saturation and brightness, and I'll darken it like that. Now this illustration is going to actually have six different people, but we've only drawn three. And that's because I'm going to duplicate each character one time, and then kind of bend it a little bit and recolor it to make it look different. So for that, I'm going to make sure this guy here is selected. I'll move him slightly off to the side, then I'll duplicate it and then move his clone down here. And the first thing I'm going to do is kind of bend him a little bit. So I recommend using the uh, liquify tool on him, set to push. And I think shape-wise, that looks different enough. The next thing I want to do is adjust the colors. So to do that, I'm going to use the freehand selection tool again. And I'm just going to select a few elements at a time. I think in this case, just the hat, the scarf, and then the gloves. Then I can use the hue, saturation, and brightness and shift the hue of just those elements. There we go. And I'll pretty much do the same thing for the rest of his outfit. And of course, after that, I'm going to move these two characters off to the side and move on and start finishing up the remaining two. And I'm going to use the exact same technique, basically just kind of filling in and dressing one character, duplicating him, adjusting his posture, and then recoloring him so he looks different. The end goal here is that we end up with six pretty unique ice skating characters.
And there we go. I think this collection of characters looks pretty good. The next thing I'm going to do is flip each of the clones. So for example, I'll select this guy here. I'll use the arrow tool and then I'll flip him horizontally. And I'm going to go through and flip all the clones. And finally, once all six of these characters are finished, we can move on and paint the background scene. And that's going to be on a blank layer. Just for now, I'll make it above everything. And then I want to hide all the people. So I'll select all the layers for them, group them, and then I'll turn off the whole group just temporarily for now. And then I'll work on this blank layer up here. And for the background scene, I need to zoom out a little bit. And it's going to be this kind of rectangular shape. For the color, I'm going to use a light bluish gray. And for the brush, I'll use the abstract round. And I'm just going to fill out a loose wash like this. After that, I'm going to grab the water blender brush. And at the maximum size, I'm just going to soften this wash in a couple areas. And this turned out pretty good, but it's a little bit rough. So to fix that, I'm going to zoom out, grab the arrow tool set to freeform, and I'm just going to move the artwork off the edge reselect it, move it off the other edge, and this is how I'll just kind of clean up and straighten up all the sides. And this scene has an icy area down here and a snowy area up here, so I want to draw a kind of boundary. So I'll make a layer above the background, I'll choose pure white, I think I'll switch back to the abstract round, and I'm just going to kind of draw out a very lumpy line like this. There we go. After that, I'm going to grab the eraser brush, set to the fine liner pen, and I'm going to use it to kind of straighten up the bottom edge. And the point of this is to just make it look like there's a pile of snow at the edge of the ice. Next, I'm going to add some pine trees, and those are going to be on their own blank layer as well. And I'm just going to use a couple different shades of green and the abstract round brush to kind of loosely uh, paint those in. And all four of these trees are on the same layer, and I want to clean up the edges, so I'm going to use the eraser brush again, and just straighten these out. And to finish these up, I'm going to continue on the same layer, and use the fine liner pen brush, a couple different shades of green and brown, and I'll add the uh, branches and details to these trees. And I think these trees turned out a little bit small, so I'm going to scale them up and then use the freehand selection tool to position them a little bit better. And then finally, I'm going to use the arrow tool, this time set to distort, and I'm just going to lean the trees slightly to the right. Next, I'd also like to add some trees down here, so I'm actually just going to reuse these ones. So I'll duplicate that layer, I'll drag it down here, I'm going to scale it up a little bit, and then I'm going to flip them so they're all leaning the other direction, and then just kind of position them. Now this next part is totally optional, but if you want, you can add a line of trees off in the distance, and it's very easy to do. I'm just going to make a blank layer and drag it below both of our tree layers. Then I'm going to grab a kind of dark uh, bluish green tone. For the brush, I'm going to use the abstract round, and I'm just going to fill it out like this. Then after that, I'm going to grab the eraser brush, still set to the fine liner pen, and I'm going to use it to clean up the bottom edge of the tree line, and also add the uh, points of the trees on the top. And that looks pretty good. Now I'd like my background here to end just at the base of the trees, so I'm going to select the background layer, and then use the uh, fine liner pen as the eraser to cut that back. And finally, with the main elements of the background finished, I'm going to move on and add the snow effect. So I'll make a blank layer above everything. I'll use pure white. For the brush, I'm going to use the stippling brush at the top. Medium size. And I'm going to go over the whole thing like this. And I think now's a good time to finally place in the people. So they're all in this group down here. I'm going to drag it up to the top. I'll turn it on, and right away they're way too big and in the wrong place, 
So I'm going to mess with the scale and the position. And I think individually, I'm also going to adjust them a little bit as well. And it's optional, but if you want to, you can also add some kind of skating lines on the ice. So for that, I'm going to make a blank layer that's above the snow and the trees in the background, but still underneath the people. I'll select a kind of bluish gray tone. For the brush, I'm going to use the fine liner pen. And I'm just going to draw some kind of random swirling lines like this. Then I'll use the eraser to cut them back from the edge a little bit. And to make these stand out really nicely, I recommend changing the transparency mode to color burn and then adjusting the transparency until they're just barely visible. And you can see in a few areas, they're kind of covering up the trees. So I'm going to erase those as well. And then finally, as the very last step, I want to dress the edge and make it look a little bit more rough and interesting. So for that, I'm going to make a blank layer that's above everything, even the people. I'm going to select pure white. And I'm going to use the brush I usually use for this, which is the 4B Compressed. And I'm going to use it to cover up and kind of hide the border in a very soft and rounded way. And there we go. Our illustration is all done. If you enjoyed this video and you think I've earned it, please give it a like. I think artwork like this is really suitable for greeting cards. And here are some videos you can watch next where I explain how to make those.